hi guys what is up we are on our way to hawker stall that we have been meaning to go to for a long time now we actually tried to go here once before um but as we got there they said that they had just sold out of food which was really annoying so we're um on our second attempt we're heading there now this place is called lad and dad and it is a hawker stall that specializes in british comfort food which we are so excited about apparently they sell like beef stew yorkshire puddings bacon butties and full english breakfast if you're british you'll know what i'm talking about if you're singaporean you might not but hopefully this video will educate you a bit more today on like typical british comfort food so the hawker stall is run by a father and son hence the name lad and dad and i think they are singaporean but for some reason they've decided to um specialize in british food i guess maybe they spent some time maybe in the we UK. can be the, we can be the judge so we are going to be judging it for ourselves today and letting you know if it is real authentic british food or a best attempt or a best attempt if it really lives up to what it says it is yeah. um so i yeah. hope i hope that i do as well it's good i do too i've got high hopes because um there's been some incredible reviews about this place so i feel like we are the best people to judge this as british people ourselves yeah. so we're gonna head over there now yeah so the typical dishes that the types of food that we would have been brought up on like bacon butte bacon butty is a bacon roll by the way it's like a bacon sandwich um so yeah we're gonna head there now super excited to try let's go see if it lives up to its name yeah they better have brown sauce for that bacon <laughs> yeah we're expecting brown sauce ketchup we don't want any chili sauce on our palate <laughs> no absolutely not absolutely it would be not. criminal Fried egg, bacon, hash brown. Oh my god, it has hash brown. And tomato sauce. That actually looks delicious. And the last one we got is the bangers and mash. So you have two really decent sized sausages there, gravy and mashed potato. This all looks delicious actually. I, was, I wasn't expecting it to look this good. And then first bite of bacon and chip butty. Does it taste like it's from home? <laughs> Is it really good? Yeah. It looks amazing. Oh, that looks so good. So, this is a typical food we have maybe on a hangover morning <laughs> or just generally for breakfast. Yeah. You'd have a, a bacon sandwich or a bacon butty. Before a football game. Before a football game. <laughs> this is better, dare I say, than a sausage McMuffin. No, massively, 100%. <laughs> I'm a big fan of a sausage with butty, but this is a My favourite thing about this butty is that they've already put ketchup in it. They know what they're doing. <laughs> you have to have ketchup in your butty. Also, the, the bacon and the hash browns are just so crispy. That's exactly how I like my bacon and hash browns to be. So it has a really nice crunch to it. It's just so delicious. Something Justin's really missed in Singapore is proper British sausages. How do these compare? Well, because, okay, so apologies to any Muslims that might be watching, but pork sausages are just the best ones. <laughs> Chicken sausage, turkey sausage. Doesn't quite cut the mustard. This one's good. It tastes like home. Okay, so the stew is just seasoned so, so nicely. It has herbs and black pepper and there's so much flavor in it and then you have um, vegetables still in there as well i think this is delicious definitely tastes authentic <laughs> it does it really does it's a beef mm. when would you typically eat beef stew in the uk Winter. Yeah, it's more like a winter dish, so you have it to warm yourself up. Although I did think that this was going to be served with Yorkshire pudding, but unfortunately it wasn't. 
Well, I, I didn't see any Yorkshire puddings on the board either. I was expecting them to have some. Well, they absolutely polished that off. Completed it. Beautiful lighting. Well, our tummies are very satisfied right now. Would you agree? Yeah, man. That was pretty delicious, actually. So the bacon and chip butty, what would you give it out of 10? Uh, nine out of 10. I would give it a nine or a 10 out of 10. It was delicious. The beef stew was delicious. It tasted very authentic. And if you're Singaporean, you haven't tried beef stew before, you should definitely try it. Should I to that one, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really nice. Bangers and mash, how was it? That was very good. I didn't try the bangers and mash because I'm not too big on sausages. Yeah, it was nice. So overall, lad and dad, 100% recommend it. It was really tasty. Thank you to all of you that recommended it to us and told us to go try it. Sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know if you've been to lad and dad before and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.